All right, y'all. YouTube fam. I'm, I'm going to learn y'all today. If y'all don't even know how to do this, you might not have to do it. How to take off these old 13 by 7s. It's winter time, man. I'm going to do a little cruising that thing. Them, them spokes don't like that water. I'm going to slap them puppies on there right there. Some bias ply slicks in the back and some skinnies in the front. These are the tires for the front right here. But let's learn, y'all. Let me get you set up over here. All right. Let's see if we can't get these things off. Sometimes these knockoffs got the direction on them. Sometimes they don't, though. Which way they go on or come off. Watch out, Hunks. Go. 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 You got to get your little trusty lead hammer. That way it doesn't damage the knockoffs on it. I don't know. I know what That must be tightening. What are you thinking? Been a long time since I took off any Road Stars or Luxors, Dayton's. Damn. The whole thing is seized on. I've had a couple pairs and I'll put, the, put some uh, grease on them and some of the seized up on you. Shit. Well, we have movement. I don't know if that's tightening now. I know the easiest way to do it. I got some other knockoffs. They should say. Let me see if I can grab them. So we back. This is for another set of rims I got. So it's usually the left side is white. Yeah, this is the left side. So let's see. So this. Let's see. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be beating these up. Cause, all right. So let's see which way this fucker turns on. Might be so damn rusty, you don't want to go home. Oh, there we go. A little rusty. Okay, so. Yeah, I was going the right way, so you got to beat them towards the front bumper for them to come off. All right, let's get back to it. Let's see. I think whoever put these ones on there, I don't remember if I did them. Somebody else did, but I think they we didn't put no grease on. white or red. The red is the right hand side. Oh, 
don't think we put no damn grease on them. Beating down, off will be coming. They're spinning, but they're very slow. Man, look at that hammer. That's why I use that lead hammer on these things. Take a little weight off of them. Remember, 1958 to 64, and Paul is Belair's Biscayne's. They have what's called an X frame. So there's nowhere really to put it to on the side rails. You got to go farther in. Harbor Freight Jack kicking in. I need that sponsor, Harbor Freight. Let's see if the sucker can't loose it all. Oh, yeah. Let's see what it do now. Some bitch might spin a little easier now. Oh, yeah. Bet you ain't no grease on this thing or something. Tires on it. One down. I'll pull you guys in real quick. I guess so people ain't familiar with Dayton's or Road Stars or Luxors. See how it is? So you, you bolt your adapter on first, then put some grease on it. Somebody didn't put no grease on this one. That's why I was a bitch to get off. And now I gotta take those adapters off to slap on the other wheels. All right, let's get back at it. Now this one, you need two people. Janky tightening these things on. Thank God I checked them. Thank God they're coming off. It's crazy. You should not be able to do that. No. 
don't even know if I ever took this car over 60 miles an hour though with these damn 13 by 7s on it. Oh, yeah, for sure, I didn't put these on there. I, I got a tendency of doing some overkill, tightening shit down. That's why I break some of these bolts and shit. This cap popped off that sucker too. Oh, well, she's good though. I'd like some new bearings off in her. Chrome level on this thing. Shit, the chrome ones used to be a buck a piece. Now I don't know what they are. These little funky ones are probably a dollar a piece now. Damn wildlife going crazy around here all day. Them damn roosters are weird. They be at uh, nighttime crowing and shit. No moon, no nothing. I should have my impact out here. I'm slacking. Always taught to do your lug nuts as you go across each direction. Some people do it, some people don't. Side to side, a little snug, come back across to this one. Do the same thing. It's a little snug, go back across. I was taught to do it anyway. because they dent in. So you don't want to over tighten them, especially the old ass studs in here. It's probably those original studs from 59. I just go back now. Just a little something, something. Three to go. That's what it's looking like. When I get the back ones on there, it's gonna look pretty hard though. Well, y'all check back in. Thank you for tapping in and watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't be scared. Hit the button. Don't cost nothing. <laughs>